Hello, it is Sunday, July 28th, 2024. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Sunday crossword today, which means we're going to be solving a jumbo grid. And I'm very curious about what the dimensions of this grid because we can see that it's very, the individual cells are very small, which suggests to me that it's going to be an unusual size in order to sort of squeeze it in. It's it's looks like it'll be a much wider grid than usual. So I'm very curious about that. And it's got a name, the big five O, that doesn't doesn't give me any clues about that. But oh, maybe they're Olympic rings, actually. Sorry, I'm just seeing that there's some interlinked rings hiding behind the gauzy privacy veil. Anyway, we'll find out soon. And that would make sense, five O, because there are five Olympic rings. Okay, that's probably what it's about. Um we'll get onto that momentarily. This a uh, mysterious and potentially Olympic edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Adam and Annette Noble, Noah Bizanson, and, as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster, the incorrigible Sheeler Beeler, and the indefinable Charlie Paget. Thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They do, of course, sustain this channel, keep this whole thing going. For that, I'm very grateful. Thank you to them and to everybody who's a patron of the channel at any level. If you'd like to become one yourself, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field where you're fi you'll find the bonus videos available to patrons. And for benefactors like those five, the Let's Check the Crosses official mug. Thanks again to everybody who does support the channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks if you subscribe on YouTube. That's a big help. And you can also join that Daily Solve Discord chat server, a nice friendly chat community linked in the description field. All right, let's get on to today's crossword, which has been constructed by Paolo Pasco, who I think is responsible for a couple of dozen puzzles for the New York Times. It was edited once again by Joel Faliano. It's a Sunday puzzle, so it has a name, the Big Five O. Let's find out what that's all about, and let's start solving. Yes, okay, it does look like Olympic rings, doesn't it? Okay, and it is wider, yes, which I guess was was inevitable. Okay, so curious to see what <laughs> what all of this means. Uh, we'll just get onto it here. Word following push up that anagrams to a word following pull up. Uh, push up, push up bra um, anagrams to bar, and you could have a pull up bar. So you have, you know, push up bra, the garment or the, the you know, bit of you know, undergarment, and then you have a pull up bar that you would install to do exercise with. So there we go. All right. I think that's right. So penciled in feature, perhaps. A brow, an eyebrow, penciled in. Poet dove. Hmm. I'm not sure offhand, actually. Prefix with war or hero. And you could have an anti-war film, for instance, or you could have an anti-hero character in a uh, novel or a film or something. Here we have wedding roll or a description of 114 across. Oh, this, this will be thematic probably based on its location here. Yes, this puzzles subject. Okay, so what did this say? Wedding roll or a description? Oh, ring bearer. So you have you could have a ring bearer in a wedding who you know carries the the rings up the up the aisle, and then uh, a description of 114 across. This puzzles subject. So. Um, Olympic something, Olympic logo, <laughs> because it bears rings, it contains rings. What about this one? Artist's diagram or one of five for 14 across. Yeah, so the, yeah, one of five rings for the Olympic logo. This might be the Olympic logo or flag, maybe Olympic flag. I don't know. Let's see. Artist's diagram or artist diagram. What is an, what is an artist's diagram? That would also mean a ring, because it's one of these five rings. Mm, not sure. I kind of want to figure it out, though. So let's look at the crosses. What corn holders are inserted into the co a corn cob? Um, okay. Oppenheimer director was Christopher Nolan. Carl's wife in Pixar's Up. Oof, I don't remember the characters, names of the different, different characters in Up, although obviously Carl is right there. So that I know. Is there any chance it's Anita, or am I just completely inventing that? Israeli desert, Negev. Okay, well, no, it's not Anita. Um, sources of cashmere, goats, right? I think that's right. Make a big splash in diving, say, to, well, that would be a mistake. So here we have a, a bit of a gesture towards the Olympics. We have a reference to an Olympic event. 
to err, to make a mistake would be to make too big a splash in your dive. Bugs, e.g. Oh, VWs, Volkswagen, Volkswagen bugs, that, you know, the Volkswagen Beetle, that model car. Oh, so color, oh, color wheel. Right. Okay. So we have five color wheels, I guess you could sort of say, um, oops, but also color wheel used as a tool for artists showing, you know, the sort of spectrum of, of color. Okay, good. So there we go. So Carl, Carl's wife, Elena, maybe, I'm not sure. Here we have oh, dollar signs. All right. So we've got more symbols. Oh, Ellen, Ellen, it must be. Okay. Oh, this doesn't look right though, does it? Get hooked. Maybe it's L-E. That looks better here. Get hooked. Uh, let me just put my phone on. Do not disturb. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, Snapple competitor. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to actually turn off the cellular entirely in case it's making those noises. Apologies if so. Snapple competitor, Nest Tea. Uh, so that's a bottled drink brand. And then to indulge oneself is to treat oneself. There we go. Forever and ever is air or an eon. Air would be a surprising, you know, you could be E-E-R, which is poetic contraction of ever. That would be surprising because it's a contraction of the word ever, which is already in the clue. So probably not, but maybe, I don't know. What about this one? Restaurant chain with an avian mascot. I don't know. Muslim head covering, hijab. All right. And blank Rizal, national hero of the Philippines. Ooh, I'm not sure offhand. Jose. Brick that doesn't require mortar. Lego, Lego bricks. I'm sorry, one moment. I'm going to pause this for one second to cough. Okay, I'm back. Anyway, hankerings are yen's desires and substance in a bagel making bath yes lye is used to uh to bathe bagels uh which is all i've always found astonishing but true failing that would be else so well, failing that otherwise else we'll do this okay so this was jose all right great so what about this restaurant chain with an avian mascot boy this just does not look Oh, rubies? No, I, I don't know what this is, sorry. Okay, one of the stages of grief. Um, what, are the what are the stages of grief? There's anger and bargaining and guilt maybe, I don't, I don't remember. Okay, get hooked, take the bait. There we go, that seems very plausible. Oh, denial. Denial is a stage of grief. Yes, I do recognize that. Okay, compete like Shikari Richardson. I bet this is an Olympic reference, but run maybe. Maybe she's a runner. Prized violin. Yeah, this, that looks right because prized violins for short could be strads as in uh, violins made by Stradivarius or Stradivari or whatever, whatever his name was. Um, but the famous historical violin maker. So then I think to compete like Shikari Richardson would be to run probably. So ultra famous would be huge. There we go. Malevolent sorcery. Is it magic? Oh no, it's not just, I see. It's, um, it's black magic because we're in, you know, the black ring, I suppose here. And then this similarly would be red. So this is red Robin. That's a restaurant chain. Okay, there we go. So this will be blue something detailed plan of action, a blueprint. Yes, good. Okay, excellent. So well, let's, let's do those. Why not? So they fly somewhere over the rainbow blue skies or blue, blue jays, blue birds, I guess. Do oh, do is that a lyric in the song blue bird? Bluebirds fly. Is there something like that? Do bluebirds fly in that song? I bet they do. Uh, let's keep doing the colors. Signature hit for Linda Ronstadt. Blue. Hmm. I don't know. This is one where I'll probably recognize it when it's actually in, but I'm not going to think of it right now. Democratic stronghold could be a blue state. So a state in the U.S. that typically votes for the Democratic Party in elections. I'm just going to keep looking at these colors. 
ostracized family member, a uh, black sheep, someone who's kind of out of kilter with the rest of the family and somewhat shunned, extorts from in a way would be black males. Or, yeah, blackmail someone, you extort them. Supreme pizza topping, uh, black olive. I guess supreme pizza just sort of means what everything's on there, basically, including black olives. Raccoon-like mammal of China, red the um, uh, red panda. There we go. Yeah, red pandas are absolutely adorable. Okay, and danger, danger, red alert. Phenomenon uh, allegorized in the crucible. A, a, it was the witch trials, wasn't it? Oh no, no, the red scare. Yes, sorry, the witch trials were not. Uh, they, they were. They, they were literally represented, but the allegory was the red scare. There we go. That's, that's the case, of course. Okay, great. So the red scare, the kind of panic around, you know, suspected communists in the U.S. Um, obsolescent book would be yellow pages. Yes, we don't really need those anymore because the internet exists. And national park since 1872, Yellowstone, I think, was that the first National Park. I think I think it was. Milk toast would be yellow. Yellow belly. I'm sort of cowardly. Milk toast, I guess. I guess I guess milk toast means sort of meek. So I guess it could you could uh, yeah I mean. I just, I'm fairly certain this is yellow belly because I don't know what else it would be. So yeah, if you're a sort of yellow belly, you're kind of a meek, cowardly person and a milk toast, I suppose, is that. Okay, so let's look at this. Results of some fouls in soccer, uh, yellow cards. You could have a yellow card or a red card. All right, and then Credence Clearwater Revival Song named after a place where cool water flows. Um, Green River. Actually, don't think I know that song, but... That must be it. What was this one? Oh, we haven't looked at this yet. Brand in the frozen food section. I don't have any idea. Dip made from tomatillos. Salsa verde? Is it... Or just green salsa, maybe? I mean, it would... I guess you... Yeah, you could just call it green salsa, I guess, if you translated it in that way. Um, so there we go. Uh, that is a great, that is a great, uh, <laughs> said this before on the, um, uh, on a video, I was wondering about tomatillos, actually, I should thank this person. Someone in the comments provided me from some suggestions as to where I could find tomatillos here in London after they researched it on Reddit on my behalf. Um, I've yet to make it out to, um, the suggestions. I think one is in Notting Hill and one was Borough Market, but, um, I was very grateful for those. Thank you to the person who uh, gave me that recommendation or that set of recommendations. All right. What has a lot of room to grow? Green shoot or something? Or... Hmm. Not sure. Okay. Well, we've got most of them. Let's just, we'll get, what was this again? Oh, this is Linda Rise. Okay. Let's just get back to solving. Now that we've, we've made a big leap in terms of our amount of fill. Hold up. Wait. Okay. Poet Dove. Oh, Rita Dove. Okay. That sounds right. Multi-piece furniture purchase. Ot Ottoman sets? Yeah. Yeah, you could buy a set of Ottomans, you know, the kind of footrest furniture. Pioneer in computer chess. IBM was famous for its chess computers. Largest labor union in the U.S. in brief. Um, I'm guessing this is going to be an N, just because that's pretty common national something. Um, my guess would be, this would be a teacher's union. If I had to guess what the largest labor union in the U.S. was by profession, that would be my guess. National Education Association, of the, I, I don't know, but I'm guessing this is an end. Become subject to, to become subject, oh, to incur. So if you incur a fee, you become subject to that fee. Let's see if that works. Sloping surfaces are cants, right? So something that's at a canted angle is slanted. All right. Alpha blank majora, star in the big dipper. Alpha or say or something like that. 
I'm gonna leave that for now. Smacks of, there's something smacks of, of corruption. It reeks of corruption. It is redolent of it. Co uh, cornhole attempts are tosses, right? So that's the game where you toss a beanbag or something into a hole. Okay, so Ursae, and then ailment whose name becomes an actress when its vowel is doubled. So strep throat becomes Meryl Streep. There we go. Inside lane on a track. I guess that would be track one. And there we go. Then we have another nod to the Olympics. Lambs lament uh, ba. Just a lamb saying ba, ba, lamenting. And like some Mideast nationalism. Hmm. Not sure what we're looking for there. Resting places. Inns. You could literally rest at an inn. That's straightforward enough. And cattle driving dispute ranch something? Hmm, not sure. Musical composition like the Gari in Sikh tradition. A, is it a raga? That's an Indian um, kind of musical form or tradition. Let's see. Oh, oh, pan-Arab. Like some Mideast nationalism. You could have a pan-Arab nationalism. There you go. Okay, so that'll be right. So then a cattle driving dispute is ranging or something? Something to do with the range, I don't know. Worst of the worst, the dross, just real low, the gross bits. Let's see, droop, no, that's wrong. Oh, the dregs, the dregs, okay. So the, the you know, at the bottom of a wine barrel, just the dregs, the gross leftover bits. Uh, droop would be to sag. And then understood, if you understood something, you saw it. There, is that right, actually? Because that looks strange here. Range. Oh, maybe a cattle driving dispute is a range war. I've never heard that phrase, but that could absolutely be right. Range war. Oh, is this Blue Bayou? That must be it. Blue Bayou. Um, I don't actually think I know that song. But, but Blue Bayou is certainly a... a you know, a phrase that, that is used to describe that particular, you know, probably referring to Louisiana by you. All right, balance beam gripper uh, toe. So here we have another nod to an Olympic event. So you might use your toes to balance on the balance beams. And then beat at an audition maybe would be, I'm not sure what we're looking for there. Number for a letter, a rune? Hmm. Political slogan of the 2000s. Oh, yes, we can. That was Obama's slogan. So we had a um, Jeb Bush slogan the other day, and here's one from Obama. Number for a letter. Rent. Oh, right. Okay. Because you're letting an apartment or a flat, you're leasing it, you're renting it. And then your number is the rent that you pay each month. Beat at an audition, maybe. What is this? Oh, out act. Uh, right. Okay. It's not, a, I was thinking of beat as in, I was thinking of musical audition and the beat as in a tempo, musical tempo, but no, it's beat as in one, you know, you outdid someone, you outacted them. Spice up say would be to season food or something else metaphorically. And then backing would be for my backing. I'm for it. Back. Oh yeah. No, you could say I'm backing you. I'm for you. That works. Actually, what's up here? Movie FX, CGI, so computer-generated imagery. And just scratches the surface, etches into stone, say, scratch the surface of it. Architect uh, Mies van der Rohe is a, is a famous architect. There we go. Apologies for that likely mispronunciation. And then one way to throw a baseball would be with a sidearm, I suppose. Rock climber's handhold would be a crag. You could sort of grab onto a crag as a handhold. And then Teletubby with a repetitive name. La La. Right, okay. Don't remember the... I, mean, I've actually, I don't think I've ever actually seen an episode of the Teletubbies, but I do remember when they were sort of really huge for a while. Uh, and I do remember seeing this name, La La, with extra A's. It's not long. <laughs> okay. So this will be... It's not longitude, presumably, because... This isn't the word long, it's an abbreviation, L-O-N-G, period, or full stop. So there we go. So it's not longitude, it's latitude on a map. 
And then brand in the frozen food section. Oh, Green Giant. That's what it is. Okay. So yes, the Green Giant, they have canned pea or frozen peas and things like that. All right. So, I th oh, here's one. Letter F Letters after, after Lucasfilm. So Lucasfilm Limited, the uh, film studio founded by George Lucas, now owned by Disney. All right. And then here we need to get this. Aptly named Writers Association. Oh, Penn. Penn is a global writers association with various national arms. Uno blank, uno mas, one more, you could say. And what meow might mean? I'm hungry. Oh, okay, so right, I see. A cow is meowing to mean I'm hungry. Manicurist, manicurist creation could be nail art. There we go. They're detailed painted nails. And then very now would be chic. It's fashionable. It's current. Dance related to the Tongan Tao Ulunga. Uh, the hula, I would, I would assume, would be related. So it's a Polynesian sort of dance. And then blank OU, sixth highest peak in the world. Oh, I don't know this one. And here we have aid in seafloor mapping. Okay, well, sonar would be used to map a seafloor. So Cho OU would be sixth highest peak in the world. That's interesting. I'll have to look that up. Okay, there it is. Aha, you might say. And cheers for one. A, oh, a bar, right? So the, the bar in the series of the same name in the, in the sitcom, the TV sitcom Cheers. Cheers is the name of the bar. Round up at the start. Question mark. No idea what that's about. Character who's told we're all mad here. That's uh, Alice is told that in the Lewis Carroll book, Alice in Wonderland. Or through the looking glass. Round up at the start. Or I guess it's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, maybe? Anyway, round up at the start. Uh, not sure what that is, sorry. Here we have power sources for some electric cars. Fuel cells, right, okay. So batteries, essentially. And sushi eggs are row, so fish eggs are row. And then, oh, is this prelims, preliminary? Round up at the start. What does the up mean? I understand the round at the start. So it's a round of play, you know, a round of, of some sport. But I'm sure that's right. I just don't quite understand how to parse it. I, that, that's my error, obviously. Spice Girl Chisholm casually. Mel. Okay. So Mel Chisholm, I guess, is her name. All right. And then restroom in a pub Oh, I was going to say lab, but it's probably loo, um, British slang for a toilet, although lab is kind of that as well. But anyway, I think it's probably the loo uh, because the pub is suggesting British English. And that's what's going on. Law and order spinoff for the short. No, sorry. Law and order spinoff for short as an abbreviation, right? So um, S oh, SVU, Special Victims Unit. It's definitely a show I've heard of. So there we go. Concerning egg cells, ovular, so related to ova, you know, the ovum, an egg cell. And then linguist's concern would be, you, uh, oh, I was going to say usage. So this is not Olympic logo. It is Olympic flag, which was my other thought. So usage would, is a part of the study of linguistics. How are different words used? All right. And then goodness me, I say, you might say with indig some indignancy, acclaimed would be hailed. So an acclaimed artist would be a hailed artist. And then, oh, right, here's this. What is a lot of room to grow? Okay, so it's a greenhouse. I forget if I mentioned that. I think I was at least thinking of it as a possibility. So a lot of room to grow. You grow plants in a greenhouse. Channel that gets audio only. An earphone or something? Channel. Ear canal? Oh, right, like a, ch like a physical channel in your ear. Probably ear canal. Okay. So what about this playbill listing? A ca yes, the cast. If you go to see a play, you'll have the playbill booklet and it'll have a cast list. Soul singer Baker, Anita Baker. It's a soul singer. Adam of TV's Severance. Oh, right. You can picture him. What's his name? Adam. I can't remember it, but he's the lead actor in that show. Move up to advance would be to move up. Oh, is it Adam Scott? Boy, I honestly can't remember. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm still not even sure that's right. Okay, they may be renewed. You could renew your vows, your wedding vows, maybe. And then fried rice add in onion is often a part of, of fried rice. 
uh, blank law p equals iv watts law um which you know deals with electricity in some fashion but i don't remember uh so it must be adam scott okay it is adam scott i don't know why i was reticent about that but there we go so shade of gray you could have slate gray like the stone slate and then like the atmosphere after an awkward joke it might be tense Okay, great. So here we have a juice bar suffix aid, like lemonade or limeade, that kind of thing. Not at all light would be hefty, so big and bulky. Some TV screens are LCDs, LCD screens. And Broadway passage would be an aisle. So I think what this means is in a Broadway theater, you'd have aisles between the seats. And then sermon topic, um, sin, I guess you could have a church sermon about sin. Hoppy choices at happy hour would be IPAs, India Pale Ales. An IPA is a very hoppy, bitter brew. And then the blank true, the same's true for me, you might say. Same's true for him. They wait for no man in the saying. Time and tide wait for no man, goes the saying. Sumac, a.k.a. the Peruvian songbird. Oh, I think it's Ima, YMA. Is that right? Uh, no, yes, it is. No thanks. Pass, you might say. And then, sorry, I'm try I'm going a bit more quickly through this because I'm um, I'm a bit short on time, uh, as I have been recently. Flirty thing to bite is your lip. You could bite your lip in a sort of, I don't know, coquettish manner, I guess. And wooden shoe, uh, sab I always forget if this is sabot or sabo. I always forget which way it's pronounced. But anyway, in any case, they're, they're wooden. Those are wooden shoes, sort of clog-like shoes. Character appearing twice in Dumb and Dumber, question mark. Silent B. Yes, it is. Okay. So character in the sense of a letter. So we have two examples of a B in Dumb and Dumber, which are not, not pronounced. Okay. Negative Nancy words. Nose, I guess, is it as simple as that? Chain that offers obedience training classes. Oh, maybe Petco, the pet supply and food store. They might have courses, classes for pets, maybe. Let's see if that works. Part of a woman's anatomy named for Dr. Ernst Grafenberg. Oh, is it the G spot? Oh, that's funny. I didn't, I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, well, there we go. That's new one on me that, that, um, naming source bother with at would be if something gnaws at you, it bothers you. Um, and Jane Eyre to the villainous Mrs. Reed, uh, the niece of Mrs. Reed, Jane Eyre. Literary character, obviously. Uh, change as one's clothes would be to alter them. So you could re-hem a dress or something, alter it. Oh, this doesn't look right. Drink, so to speak. Ocean. So this is not nose. So what is it? Negative Nancy word. Oh, is it no, no? Is that what it is? So, no, it's not. Oh, right. Okay. This is This is something I really don't associate with with uh, U.S. crosswords is using Nancy as a um, as a clue for the French language. This does happen in, in British cryptic crosswords, not infrequently. Um, but it's a place name. It's a French place name. But obviously, we read it. it you know, you'd read as an English native English speaker, you would just read this and you'd think, oh, it's the woman's name, uh, Nancy. But but it's also it is also a French place name, and so uh, we're using this to clue the French language. So non, so uh, N O N. S for plural. Uh, there we go. Okay. I don't, I, I, let me know if you have seen this particular uh, usage in a New York Times crossword before. I don't remember having done so, but there we go. I think that's the answer. So certain coastal flyers are turns. That's I think sometimes referred to as a sea eagle. And then changes one. Yes, we saw that. Changes one's closest altar. So we have just maybe this one left. Maya who designed the Museum of Chinese in America. Museum of, oh, I see. The Museum of Chinese in America. Uh, Maya Lin sounds like a, an architect name that I've heard before. Does that work? Yes, it does. Because Scottish word and holiday song is Zion, as in Old Lang Zion. All right. The, um, you know, very, very frequently sung on New Year's Eve. And there we go. I guess it's not New Year's Eve. I guess usually Old Lang Zion is, is sung on New Year's Day, just after the clock ticks over. Anyway, um, well, there we go. That was the big 5-0, our Sunday crossword, our Sunday very appropriately themed 
Olympics crossword. I watched the uh, Paris opening ceremony the other day. I thought that was fun. And uh, I always like seeing all the different countries come by. And we've got an appropriate crossword. So we have the Olympic flag represented in the grid with um, our two relevant clues to that, ring bearer and color wheel representing, uh, you know, well, there are other, other ways to refer to these elements sort of punnily. And then we've got an incredibly extensive theme with, I guess, 20 sort of thematic answers based on colors. So very nice. We've got blue print, blue state, blue birds, blue bayou, black magic, black sheep, black males, and black olive, uh, red robin, red scare, red panda, and red alert, yellow pages, yellow stone, yellow cards, and yellow belly, and finally, green giant, green river, green salsa, and greenhouse. And there we go. That was the big 5 0. An impressive and uh, fully themed, I would say, crossword by Paolo Pasco. And in fact, we even had little nods all throughout the rest of the grid, just little bits here and there, referencing various Olympic events without being officially part of the theme. So I thought that was nice as well. And that's that. That was the Sunday crossword. I'll be back tomorrow with the Monday edition of the crossword, which we will solve quickly. And um, it'll have a theme, but it'll be a pretty approachable puzzle. So join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday and enjoy the Olympics. Take care. Uh-huh.